Turquoise color is something that I always love since I was very young and it's one of the also the favorite colors of my mother and I always wanted to do, do a series of a on tur Turkish shade of colors. I decided to do it here in Hong Kong because as we were going to do just one body of work, especially for this place, it was the time to use the turquoise color. It's a very unique turquoise color that I find in New York and I just find this this quantity. When I, I do the paintings, I do a mixture of sawdust and pigments and white glue. And uh, I do this kind of uh, mass of texture that I apply to the painting. And uh, what is very interesting is that the, the sawdust change from place to place. So the sawdust we are using in this studio, it's from, from Hong Kong. And it's completely different from the one I use in New York or Barcelona or Berlin or Mexico. I never come with a predetermined idea when I, I, I begin to work. I, I just confront the canvas in a uh, very non-dual way. The canvas dictates me how to do the painting. The philosophy of my work is trying to embrace the accident, the non-control, in order to get results that are completely unique. The quantity of pigment or the quantity of sawdust, I try to do it very random in order to always get completely different results. What, ma what makes it interesting for me to, to be an artist is that I always try to find new ways and new results. That, that's why I focus much more on the process than on the outcome. Trying to disconnect as much as possible from everything and try to avoid as much duality as possible in order that the work is completely spontaneous and that was make it unique. It, even for me it's completely impossible to repeat the same work. I, know, I think it's a very interesting city. No? It's, a, it's a very strong fight between nature and, and civilization. No? A little bit like Rio, in a way, Rio de Janeiro, that you see this kind of forest trying to fight against the, the advance of the, of the humans, but at the same time the humans are fighting with the forest. It's a very interesting place. I think it doesn't change it in a conscious way, but also always when you travel you get a lot of information that you process later and digest later and in a way uh, it can lead to something new in the world. We're going to show these works and some uh, clay works that I did at Casa Wabi, like the foundation I have in Mexico. And I wanted to have this combination of uh, this turquoise blue with the humbleness of the clay. 